Hi, Eli. Um, so I'm just going to go over those questions that you sent me really quickly. Um, so the first one was the one where you said you got uh, north 40 degrees west, and it should have been 49. Um, so I kind of just had my work laid out here. But basically, I think what the issue is, like it seems like you probably got this angle here, but you just need to be careful with the directions because if this is the angle you got as 41, um, then basically that would be written as west 41 north because it's basically like you're heading west and this angle is 41 degrees to the north so you just have to be aware of the difference in how we write the different angles so if you wanted to match up with how they wrote it in the book it was um, supposed to be north 49 west and so basically between west and north you have a 90 degree angle so to figure out um, Oh, I didn't do the math on here, but whatever. To figure out the 49 degrees, you would just do 90 minus 41, which would leave you with the remaining angle there. Okay, so there's the math for that if you need to screenshot it or anything, but I'm sure you got everything right except for just making sure that you have the proper notation. Now, I think for most of the tests that you would be writing, the multiple choice would only be given um, using like north or south as the base direction. They don't really seem to use like west or east, so you should be familiar with converting into this northwest writing. Okay. Um, the other question that you had was for question six, you got 39.6. So right away, that should be a bit of a warning to you if you have a sign aside that 0 0.7 and then all of a sudden you're jumping to something that is 40 times as big that's probably not an accurate triangle um, so I'm not 100% sure where you got the numbers from but basically um, sorry actually I'm just gonna pull up I had the question up uh, let me just see where I had that um, there it is Okay, so this was your question. A hiker leaves base camp in Banff. I'm just going to maybe minimize this and see if I can pull it off to the corner of the screen here. Oh, okay. Just have to pull it up a little bit. Okay. So, I'll just kind of keep this along the bottom of the screen. And now I've lost it. Uh, let's see. There we go. I don't know why it's not letting me just do a tiny scroll. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So a hiker leaves base uh, camp in Banff National Park and travels north 20 degrees west, right? So basically, when I'm doing questions like this, I always set up my initial line here. So this is north. Um, Oh, I don't know why it won't let me get rid of that. Whatever. Okay, so north, and he's going 20 degrees to the west. So this was his initial leg of the journey. And it said that he does that for 0 0.7. So I wrote that in. Then the hiker travels south 65 degrees west. So he's here now, and I wanted to know where south 65 would be. So south is going to be straight down again, but he goes 65 degrees to the west. So then his next leg of the journey is going to go out this way. And it said that he goes along that path until he's directly west of the camp. So I drew that leg until it was straight across from where he started here. And you want to figure out how far he is from camp. So that's going to be this side. So basically what I did is, okay, to start out with, you have 20 degrees here that they gave us because um, he was going to the west of north. And of course, if you do like the last leg of his journey was directly west. So north and west make a perfect 90 degree angle. So if this one was 20, then I knew that this angle here to make up the full 90 had to be 70. Okay, now the other thing we knew was um, that when he gets to this point, he heads south but 65 degrees to the uh, west, so then I could include that 65. Now, um, let me just think, how did I figure that out then? Oh yeah, so then I had this 65 degrees in there. Now, I have this kind of 
artificial dividing line in this triangle of the south, the north-south line. And so basically I can kind of divide this into two triangles when it's convenient for me. So I can say, okay, well, if this is a line that's going to connect with this bottom east-west line, and this is going north-south, then I know there's going to be a 90 degree angle there. This degree, or this angle is 70 degrees. So I can figure out what this angle is by doing 180 minus 90 minus 70, which would give me 20 degrees over in this corner. So total this angle here is 85 degrees. Okay, and then I can solve for the last remaining angle in the triangle because um, now I have the three, ang three angles, basically one missing. So I can do 180 minus 85 minus 70, which is going to give me 25 for this corner. So now I have three angles of the triangle and and a side, and so basically then I can apply my sine law. So I'm looking for side A, which is opposite si uh, angle A here, which is sine of 85, and then what I have is side C, which is 0 0.7 divided by the angle that's opposite it, which is sine 25, and when I do sine 85 times by 0 0.7 divided by sine 25, I get 1.65, or rounded for sig digs, 1.7 kilometers. Okay, um, so yeah, I hope that helps you out, and let me know if you have any more questions.